Hello. Hello, Home Skillet. Hi. Welcome, Welcome to back. the Summer Tapes. Yes, hey. the Mystery Files presents the dun, Summer dun, Tapes. The Summer Tapes. Yes. <laughs> Uh, I am Logan Lamaster. And I am Tiffany Walker. And if you don't know, every week we go in and we dive into some cases. Some beautiful cases, some, some supernatural, yeah. some fun mythology things. Yeah, we've been getting a lot, I, we've talked about this before, but like we've been getting way more into like some cryptic, like yeah. supernatural kind of stuff. And we just kind of go with the flow, you know? Yeah, all sorts of anything. Sometimes yeah. we do true crime, but I feel like we're kind of yeah. scared away recently, but that's okay. We should dive into like ghost stories sometimes too. I know. We should do that. We did ghost stories at one point, I think last we season. Did. I think we did. Yeah. yeah, we did like haunted houses. And oh yeah, stuff. Haunted, haunted places. Haunted places. Yes, that was. one was fun. That, one was that was a fun. good one. It was a very cozy episode. Let us know, guys, if you want us to do some like supernatural, like haunted ghost stories or yes. things. Like, we would if, love to. Cover if you ever that. want to keep up on our old episodes, we have some different things posted on YouTube, and you can always find us on our Instagram at the Mystery Files underscore. Nice plug. Thank you. We also got our TikTok. Yeah, if you want to look at any of our mini mysteries that we do, whenever yeah. we did our twelve days of mystery special. Mm-hmm. You can follow us on TikTok at the Mystery Files Podcast. Yeah, so join us there, and we're so excited that you're here today. I'm actually surprised they let us have like that long of a name, like I know. on TikTok. I just realized that, like, it's like four, it's like four words, mm-hmm. and it's like they let us have it. That's you crazy. wouldn't think they would, but thank you TikTok. Thank you TikTok. Most. But yes, yes, we also have everything posted up on our Anchor page and like Spotify yes. and all that jazz. So if you want to listen to old episodes, we got you there. Yes, we would love that. That'd be so yeah. great. Mm-hmm. Okay, so last week, last week we talked about doppelgangers, which we was did. terrifying. It was very creepy. It got me freaked out last week, and it also freaked yeah. out Benjamin. Yeah, what would you say he did? Like what he happened? He was talking about how there was a point in the episode we talked about like seeing yourself in the mirror, but like shifting. Mm-hmm. And I guess he has some, like, fear of that already oh, no. implanted in him. Oh, no. So it kind of, like, awoke that fear. So he had to stop listening to the episode because he got oh, too my freaked God. out. He was by himself. And I'm like, I get it. If Hopefully I heard that, we didn't awake any more people's fears. Sorry, guys. We awake your fears. Oops. I was on, like, this, like, FaceTime, like, call with, like, some of my friends from, like, Twitter. Mm-hmm. And they started talking about, like, shadow people. Ooh. And they're like, can you stop? Like, this is freaking us out. And they just kept going. <laughs> you said, but I'm me. <laughs> yeah, I literally just like kept going, which I think is something we should do on the show too. We should do we shadow, should people, do shadow people. Also, I, I was call thinking it. of like, I don't even know what they're called. Maybe like night walkers, those Ooh, like dog things. Yeah, there's like different things I read about, like slightly, and I'm like, yeah. that's, that's so interesting. That'd be to so me. fun. We but yeah, dive into so those too. keep listening in the future to us, guys, yes. because we got fun stuff up our sleeve. But I'm excited we for this week's episode presented by Mr. Yes. Logan himself. I'm finally very happy to finally do a case together. Yes. Like, for me to do one. Um, mm. What was I going to say? Oh. I, oh, no. <laughs> so I told you a little bit about it, but I was so terrified to do this episode. Oh, because no. I was so scared. I don't want to awaken no one. I don't want uh, us to, like, like have demon? any fears. Maybe. You're going to, like, Maybe. have a little creepy There's, like, crawler. a lot of research about this thing getting like teed off a lot i'm nervous very... <laughs> are you gonna like awaken a demon not here not here i don't think no not here where then? what if we do um if this is our last episode you guys know what happened you know what happened you go know... listen to our old episodes you know <laughs> listen to old we'll be, episodes we'll be to support alive. us even if we've disappeared after doing this yes. episode oh my gosh it's just like the marketing for the first season of the summer tapes and we went <gasps> missing yeah did Stop. anyone pick up on that didn't you yeah. guys realize we went missing that was like a whole thing we did i don't think we ever really went into detail <laughs> on any of the episodes never once did we say we're lost we were just lost on the Instagram, and that's fine. We, we do, like, very subtle details, like how yeah. we were arsonists in the 4th of July one, yeah. and it didn't read, like... <laughs> yeah, none of it reads how our inspiration is, and that's okay. But, you know, if you ever want to look into something darker, you know, just know it was there. We got a lot of compliments on this year's promo, though. People Did thought we? they were cool. Yeah. Aww, a sweet. lot of people thought, like, our picture was, like, really cool, the Aww. one we took holding hands. Cute. That's yes. so sweet. If you want to check out those pictures, they're at the Mystery Files underscore. Oh, uh-huh. on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Double promo. Double promo. <laughs> You're going to, like, choke on your teeth. No, nah, that was a pretend choke. You'd know if I was choking. I'd be out for, like, three minutes. I, I don't know if we've ever talked about this on the podcast before, but I'm always so jealous whenever, like, you know, you're the person, like, doing the case, yeah. the opposite person gets to, like, just sip S- and drink <laughs> some water, some well, tea, have, some like, coffee. I'm running out of tea here, mm-hmm. so I won't be able to have a lot to sip on for the entire no, yeah. episode. There's literally episodes where, like, we've almost, like, 
choked <laughs> from just like dry mouth <laughs> of like talking for an hour. Well, it's because when you're the one presenting it, you have no space to really take a break. Who's like streamlined? Mm-hmm. There's been like if there's if you guys ever see like long bits of one of us talking, the other's probably taking. A drink. The other one's probably like, "Thank God, I need a drink." You're like, "This is the opportunity. This is the opportunity. <laughs> this is my time." Yes. And then there's like an open air, and you're like, "Oh no." Yeah. I can't do it. Exactly. Not now, not here. <laughs> oh All right. my gosh. But I'm excited to be back. We've yes. been busy for a sec, so I'm you just know, excited. We've been working so much. We've been working. I got a new job, so I've been out. Yes. But I'm here now, and we've got a whole new or yeah. new happening here. So. All right. Would you like to give me a little drum roll to go into this yes. week's mystery? I'm going to try to do it on my cup if that's okay. Okay, go for it's it. Let's hear it. It's going to be a little naily. I'll try it once. Ready? It. No, it's all right. Yeah, it's pretty good. That sounds disgusting. Somehow that's worse. Oh, here, Maybe you should I just like you. clap. Wait, what are you oh, gonna do? I got a better idea. Oh my gosh. Are you ready? Oh, oh, that's smart. Okay. Yes, yeah, so are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. This week on the Mystery Files presents the summer tapes. We will be discussing Robert <gasps> the Doll. Stop it, Robert <laughs> the Doll. No, he's literally gonna attack us in our dreams. You know this one? I do. You a know little this bit. one a little bit. I know it. I know it enough to know that we shouldn't be talking about it. That's fine. <laughs> actually, isn't it worse if you actually go there or something? Yes. Well, that's why I like. Okay, Googled, okay. I googled like four times. Like, can I like talk? Like, will mm-hmm. I make him mad if I talk about this? Yeah. Like from afar, and I couldn't find anything. However, I found a <laughs> comment section oh, that no. was a bunch of people apologizing to Robert for just googling his picture. Oh, did you google so, his picture? Yeah. We're probably going to use it for a promo image like for this episode. <laughs> we curse you all. We curse you all. I mean, I don't think you can like curse a Wikipedia page. So Yeah, you're right. He's not that smart. Yeah. Because um He attacks me. Yeah. Thunderbolt comes from out of nowhere. <laughs> I just like in my heart, I was like we have to do this. This is just something that needs to be done cuz we've never talked about like Annabelle or anything on yeah. here or like any like um I don't think we've ever talked about like a demonic item yeah. or anything before on the show. So I thought it'd be a that new way to go into it. It's so that. interesting. At one point I was going to do a case of like the divot box. Have you ever heard of a divot box? I think I saw something about that when I was like doing research mm-hmm. for this episode actually. That kind of what stuff is for, it's like a demon box. I've heard that there's like oh. I don't know if it's something that there, there's like several different like quote demon boxes mm-hmm. out there. There's like six or something. So it's like Scooby Doo and the thirteen ghosts. Wait, is it the same? Like, they have, like, a box, and they open it up, and it's like, you released the 13 ghosts. Now oh, you have God. to go find them. That's pretty dark for Scooby-Doo. Go, Scooby-Doo. <laughs> but it's, like, the same idea. I think it's just, like, six different boxes that is all, like, pure evil. Oh. Unleashed. So they're open. It's, like, I think there was a movie called, like, Possession or something. There was some movie based on the divot box, and it was horrifying. Ooh, that sounds good, though. Now I'm scared of, like, getting little good. boxes at yard sales. Well, I don't think, well... I, th- I think I'm going to get into it, but I saw some stuff that was, like, apparently Robert the Doll, um, the Child's Play series is loosely based off of him. Really? Yeah. Like, oh. apparently, like, they had a lot of inspiration, like, from okay. that. Okay. I like that. Yes. He's a murderer. Yeah. So we're going to get into, like, some little details. We're going to talk about some of the curses, his history, and, like, mm. what really is Robert the Doll, and what does he do? I'm so darn excited. So, uh, the article we're going to be reading from is from Horror Obsessive, and it's by the author, Melissa Bostek. Go, Melissa. So gonna, yes, so thank you, Melissa, for the help with this episode. Yes, thank you. All right, so, as far as haunted dolls are concerned, those interested in the paranormal are most familiar with Annabelle, who, report, who reportedly tormented a nurse and her roommate during the 1970s. Mm-hmm. Annabelle's story has been popularized by a big-budget film franchise, but have you ever heard of Robert the Doll? People come from miles around to visit him at Fort East Martello Museum at Key West, Florida. Mm. Those visiting are advised to mind their manners in Robert's presence. So yeah, that's why like <laughs> I was like trying to do research, because it's like, He's in this museum, and you're supposed to be super respectful Ooh. when you, like, go visit him. Wait, so he's in Florida? Yeah, he's we should in go see Key West, him. Florida. Well, maybe. We should respectfully I'd be, go I'd see be him. a little scared. I mean, but then I'm not also, like, disrespectful. Yeah, but then also, like, didn't uh, Ryan and Shane from BuzzFeed, they went to visit Annabelle, and, oh, and Shane, was, Shane probably, was like... He's probably like, oh, wait, wait, is this the episode didn't... Wasn't he, like, on the way there? Oh, my gosh. What if we get in, like, a car crash? Ah. Yeah, and then they, like, cut, rough cut Yeah. It. Yeah. No, that's what I was worried about, because I think I told you, like, when I was trying to get over here, like, my bus, oh. I missed it, like, twice. I was like, 
oh my god, You're she doesn't cursed. want me to do this episode. <laughs> it was like a sign from the universe. <laughs> Please don't. Oh, and also prior to this, we had <gasps> all we had so many malfunctions. Oh my god! Right now, we're not even using a microphone because our whole setup crashed, and yeah. like on two separate computers, it crashed. So what Wait. if he is like cursing us? Oh my god! You, I didn't even think about that until just now. <laughs> it's but like I'm, my fault. I'm it's like my first episode back. Like for this season, yeah, it's my fault. But also, exactly. that is weird because our the mixer was like overrided and the two laptops. So like, it could very well be. Mm. That's mm. uncomfortable. <laughs> well, visitors of Robert are urged to introduce themselves and ask permission before taking a photo and thank Robert before leaving. Mm. Those who don't send letters to the museum often address to Robert, detailing all the bad luck they've had since their visit. Ooh. Among the misfortunes suffered by visitors who disrespected Robert include job loss, divorce, financial troubles, and even sickness. Ooh. Many letters conclude with the writer pleading with Robert to lift his curse. There's a rumor about Robert being the inspiration for Chucky, the Ooh. homicidal doll of the Child's Play franchise. Um, and according, yeah, so it's, um, so one of the questions I had when I was reading this is, it's like, how do you know if you got his permission to take his picture or not? Yeah. Like, he you can't can blink or anything. Yeah. Like, I mean, like, he probably could if like he saw him. It's not really consent unless like, he goes, yes, you can take my photograph. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it's like, how do you know? Like, do you get like a gut feeling over you that's mm-hmm. like, oh, like, I can take a picture, I feel like I can, or is yeah. it, like, something else? I feel like I'd be too freaked out to, like, directly talk to the doll. Like, talk to Robert. I feel like I would just, like, take it and be like, uh-huh. sorry, Robert. Yeah, it's it's so, so interesting. But also, I feel like you would never want to ask permission of, like, something that's, like, Yeah, because that kind of, like, opens the doors, the yeah. gates of, like, demonic... Mm-hmm. everything because like, once you like offer or like ask something of something it's letting they it kind of want like a push and pull thing in return yeah so i'm like maybe don't ask i mean yeah. i'm not well, gonna say now don't you ask. see why i have anxiety doing this episode like thinking about this i was like oh geez yeah like, hopefully this will be- well, we're doing it in my apartment so if anything yeah. happens we're also in, in uh house. if anyone didn't know we're also in like pittsburgh pennsylvania yeah and he's all the way down in florida so i think it might actually be okay. benjamin's brother lives over in florida i won't say where but I guess we can never go to Florida. Gets, Sorry, he, Disney World. He somehow goes Sorry. into like Benjamin's brother's phone and like <laughs> the cellular stuff goes. We get to we get we get an Instagram DM after this from Robert himself, and he's like, "Take it down, <laughs> take it down." Now, I wonder if he has an Instagram. We should look. Oh, that's actually. I'm gonna are check. you checking right I'm gonna now? Check right now. Okay, okay ready? You can was, keep reading. I'm okay. intrigued, but I'm gonna look him up. I was also <laughs> gonna say, um, it says we're supposed to thank him. Like with when when you leave, so mm-hmm. I think whenever this episode is over, we should uh, we should give him a thanks. We should give him a thanks because he's giving us a lot of really interesting content because he was just a supernatural uh, being or whatever that I've got a lot of interest in before. I think we've talked about him yeah. before like a little bit, but like never done on the show. So I'm excited. He there's several Instagram pages. Oh, dedicated. Are they like memes or are they like they're all like Robert the doll, Robert like underscore. The underscore Fonte <laughs> underscore doll. So, like, he has a bunch. Go follow them, guys. I, sh- I should follow all of them, and they're like, Wait, see you? the first one. What What's on the first one? The first one. Is it, like, do they have, like, captions that's, like, just hanging out with my besties? Ew, this is, like, weird. There's a picture of some girl eating spider. Oh, what? Do you see that? What is that? Oh, my that? God. It's just, captions just, I eat spiders. <laughs> yeah. Do you, Robert? Do you eat spiders? Guys, please. Please look at this. It's Robert dot the doll. This is so funny. Wait. <laughs> Wait. This is just a picture of him. He's not even looking in the same direction. It says I'm always watching. <laughs> How are you watching if you're not looking in the right direction, Robert? Wait. Oh, my God. There's people in the comments all saying, sorry, Robert. Stop it. Turn it oh off. My God. Get it off my phone. I didn't, look, I didn't promise I didn't look, Robert. Say sorry. Sorry, Robert. <laughs> Close out of the tab. It's still <laughs> yeah. on your phone. My phone crashes. Sorry, Robert. Oh, my sorry. God. Sorry, Robert. Sorry. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm stressed. I'm going to have a heart attack. You're going to go to bed tonight. Panic so before. I have to get up at four in the morning. <laughs> Robert's coming in, coming in hot. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> so, to go into the let's go into the backstory a little bit. Ooh, of I never heard the backstory. Yeah, know, it's actually it pretty interesting. Ooh. So, Robert lived with the Otto family of Key West during the early twentieth century. Robert was the most treasured possession of their younger son, Robert Eugene, born on October twenty fifth. 
1900, oh, which is really Halloween. cool. Imagine being born right before 1899. That'd be so scary. Um, the doll was given as a birthday gift for his fourth birthday. Those who knew the family said that the son was attached to the doll and took him everywhere. <laughs> he even gave the doll his first name, Robert, Ew. while in- he insisted on being called Gene from then on in. So Ew, the actual creepy. Robert was like, call me Gene. That's Robert now. I don't like that. I just like. It gave way too much power to yeah, that object in the like first place. Yeah, like basically was like, hey, you can take over my entire personality and my body, mm-hmm. by the way. I'm a vessel now. Take over this thing that yeah. is basically me, but not me. Yeah, exactly. Right? That's horrifying. And it was like weird. And like, so they wanted him to call him Gene from now on. What would you do as a parent? I mean, I, I guess I re- would respect it. I like, respect it. You know, like, oh, whatever I guess they want to identify it. Okay, you're yeah. Gene. I get it. I feel like it's like really weird though to like name your doll. Yeah, but also for him it. to like not just be like, yes, I want to be called Gene, but to also just give his name to a doll. Just give it away. To be obsessed well, with a doll. Well, that's like demonic stuff. Like, um, yeah. Talking, we talked about the Fear Street trilogy mm-hmm. on Netflix. If you guys haven't seen it, check it out. My Pretty favorite's good. third. What's your favorite? Uh, yeah. Plug it. <laughs> Is it one? Mine's three. I love three. three. We both we love three. About check it, it out. Yeah, three's <laughs> pretty good. But basically, like, in that one, too, like, they had... Spoiler alert, real quick. Mm-hmm. Um, they had, like, a whole thing where, like, you write the name of the person and they become, like, possessed and, like, all this stuff. That's mm-hmm. kind of, like, the same thing. Yeah. Like, the whole idea of, like, if you give your name away. It's power to, like, it. your soul. That's it. Like, you're done. Ew, I don't if like that. If you give that. it away. Ooh. It's like saying, take me, please. I'm That's yours. That's so spooky. So, after that happened, strange things were starting to occur in the house. Gene's parents, Thomas and Minnie, would hear Gene talking late at night in his room. Ooh. They heard a distinct voice answering him. When they opened the door, they found Gene alone in his room talking to Robert. Uh, they would that. also hear Gene scream at night. When they went into his room, they found Robert holding Gene down on the bed. Ooh. Objects also began to fly across rooms, and his parents would find Gene's other toys mutilated. When they would try to to discipline Gene, he would usually tell them, end quote, I didn't do it, Robert did it. Thomas and Mm. Minnie Otto didn't get rid of Robert, but eventually decided to put him in the attic. That's so creepy. Wait, I wonder if that's kind of like, um, uh, the... The, the goosebumps, the Slappy the Dummy. Oh, Slappy. Like how he's stuck in the attic for yeah. one of them? Ooh, that's and Mr. Weird. Stephen King probably got some inspiration. Not Stephen King, Mr. Allstein. Mr. Allstein. Sorry, I was looking ding. at Stephen King. Allstein's like, there. ding. What the <laughs> ding. heck? What a guy. <laughs> but yeah, like, so I guess apparently, it, like, I don't know what I would do if I, like, walked in and I saw, like, a doll on top of my kid after he's, like, screaming for, like, help. I guess not help. I don't yeah, know. Like, just, he's like, just screaming, screaming in, in general. Place. Like, something's wrong. Well, also, just, like, see a bunch of, like, a kid's toy, like, all the toys mutilated. Mm -hmm. Like, I would either be, like, there is something, like, incredibly wrong with my son, or two, there's something more sinister going on with all of this. So they, like, put him in the attic, but I don't understand why you wouldn't just throw it away at that point. Well, get rid of the whole issue. I guess they could throw it away, but it could be one of those situations where something's so possessed. Like, even, like, Ouija boards can get, like, Mm -hmm. you can throw them away, but they come back. Yeah. So it might be be, like, fairly... Uh, family heirloom type stuff because they said it was a gift um, oh. and it was very important to the family. Do they know where it came from? Like, where did it get sent from? Do you know? Um, I'm not entirely sure. It said it was just gifted to him okay. at his fourth birthday party. <laughs> so maybe his parents got it for him or something like mm-hmm. that, but it said it was a prized possession of him and the family. So maybe it was like, oh, we got him this and it's still special to him they might even thought he was going through a phase or something like yeah he's just like a young boy like this is just like a phase like if we just like get rid of the problem for now we can give yeah. him back later because even the, what if the doll yeah. was like fine at first where it had something just like sitting there waiting mm. for the right person to like i'm just imagining welcome. like for the toy mutilations i'm just imagining like um like teddy bears the stuffing yeah. ripped out and stuff like that would be so and, like, like if a dog got a hold of, of it like, and was like true Ooh. That's creepy. Oh my god. I feel like there's a show that's done stuff like that before. Wait, wait. No, the um the Goosebumps episode did that where like the dummies were like kind of ripped apart and they were like mm. basically like mutilated. Do you remember that? It's in the second part of the Slappy episode, maybe. Yeah, it's like okay. the one with the cousin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And they're oh, like in and the they're water tank the and there's like he's a pot roast too. Oh my god. 
I that would, that's a messed up episode of Goosebumps. Yeah, Sloppy's actually pretty scary. Like, for, yeah. I don't know. At Slappy's first, kind of I thought Sloppy is kind of like cheesy, but like it's yeah. pretty scary. That's how we'll get around it. We'll do bits about Slappy. Slappy! Slappy, our guy! We don't invite Robert. Our guy. I invite Slappy into my oh. home. <laughs> Come on, Slappy! <laughs> Robert versus Slappy, who would win in a. Stop, that's kind of iconic. <laughs> we should get that's Earl the next, on um, it. uh uh jason versus freddy is that it's like robert versus that i'd watch it i'd definitely watch it i'd I'd be into it i'd watch it i don't even know who'd be more evil honestly they're both pretty bad slappy would probably like slappy Slappy is crazy yeah robert's definitely gonna come after us yeah we're giving (laughs) slappy's gonna come after us right wink 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 it's slappy (laughs) you know what this Um, also kind of reminds me of did you watch the new conjuring movie no i didn't yet well i'm gonna say is watch it I will say it is definitely, mm, well, probably one of the darkest Conjuring really? movies I've seen. I don't Are there think, dolls in it, too? No, but there's, like, different possession things. Mm. But, like, it's really, really dark and Ooh. very good. So you better watch it. I'll have to, I'll have to watch it. Maybe soon, watch it during the done. day. Cause I, I even watched it during watch the day. It at night. I watched it during the day, and I was still freaked oh. out, but don't watch it at night. Ooh, wow. And that's, that's, com- that's coming weird... from me. Ooh. And I can take a lot, but it, like, genuinely freaked me out. Mm. Like, you need some buffer time. Yeah, like, I think it was scarier than the first one. Oh, my god! Just because it's very demonic. But give it a watch. I'm wow. for you. <laughs> All right, so to get into the backstory about the family as well. So the Ottos were a prominent family who immigrated from Germany during the 19th century and eventually settled in Key West, Florida. Thomas mm-hmm. Otto was a physician and a pharmacist. The family owned two pharmacies in Key West. In those days, doctors often doubled as pharmacists since they did not make as much money as they do nowadays. Doctors often treated patients regardless of their ability to pay and often accepted goods and change in, in exchange for health care services. Hmm. Jean was the youngest of the four children, uh, the others being named Miss Pa, Joseph, and Thomas Osgood. Jean okay. reportedly shared a close relationship with his sister, Miss Pa. So, mm-hmm. honestly... I wish, like, we would go back to that. Like, more affordable health care. Yeah. Like, I give you a vacuum, you give me arm surgery. Honestly, arm <laughs> surgery. Nice. Just I don't arm. Know. Just repeat I was thinking about arm. hand surgery, but then I said like the carpal, whole body Like, part. carpal tunnel surgery, or, like, you're literally fixing an arm. I just well, want I a whole I new arm. surgery <laughs> with my thumb. When What's I broke it on the skateboard, thumb? it, like, lays flat like this. Yes, See? Did you have a cast or anything? Yeah, I had a whole arm cast, actually. For, for your it. thumb? Yeah. <laughs> doctor really did you go to i'm surprised they didn't have like a just a random splint i don't know if they arm. could because they said like it was something about like they had to restructure like the arm with it because it was like <sighs> nerves no wonder it so looks like fun. that yeah so it's kind of fun that looks disgusting so i guess that counts as like hand surgery so <laughs> i <yeah>. mean <laughs> i still don't know i'll give you my first board if you fix my hand I'll give me my first born if you cure <laughs> me from my curse <laughs> please <laughs> all right so Accounts differ as to where Robert the doll came from and who gave it to him. The origin story that circulated over the years was that Robert was a voodoo doll Mm. made by Hadean servants. The servant gave Robert to Jean as an act of revenge against the Ottos for mistreating her. Mm. We've talked about that before on here. Have we? I'm Um, trying to think. Like, uh, servants before, like... We talked about in the Salem Witch Trials one. Okay. When, um, what was it? The one woman was claimed to be a witch when, like, oh. in reality, like, she wasn't. And she, mm-hmm. like, cursed, like, the town and everything. Yeah. We talked about that before. It makes a little return. Yes. Yeah, so the servant gave Robert to Jean as an act of revenge against the Otto family for mistreating her. And Robert was said to be made with human hair Ew. and stuffed with straw. That's creepy. Aren't a lot of dolls made with human hair? There's a Are few, they? aren't they? I mean, like, some wigs are made from human hair. Yeah, wigs are different. I guess I, I guess never... wigs are different. Dolls probably are, but I think that just freaks me out. Maybe, like, older dolls. I feel like I dolls now are more, like... Is that the Google search the for hair... this episode? Yeah, look it up. Do dolls have human hair in them? I feel like they have more plasticky hair. I don't know what the actual thing is. Hmm. Cellophane is for cellophane. Nope, they do not. Thank God. Did old ones, though? <laughs> Um, it doesn't say. I don't believe so. Uh, yeah, it just says that they use... What? Yeah. So it's a mesh base to okay. make the wig. So they don't use human hair. It's Thank mesh Thank God. Base. I was going to say. I never really like dolls you imagine if it anyway? was like, yeah, we actually take hair from barber shops? 
Ew. I don't on. think I would. I'd be disgusting. Oh my god. <laughs> I was um, about to ask if you were a Bratz or a Barbie kid. But I mean, I, don't, I can still count. Yeah, what did you use? What was your fave? Ooh. Um, I already have mine mm. in a bag. I, is it Bratz? Yeah, how'd you know? <laughs> I was <laughs> a Bratz feeling. kid through and through. Heck yeah. Yeah, Bratz are pretty cool. They're I, cool. I feel like I'd have to say Barbie because I watched a lot of the Barbie movies okay. growing up. I didn't have Barbie dolls, obviously. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Gay man style. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> my goodness. But I watched a lot of the movies and also I like Barbie Life in the Dream House because it's Aww. so out of pocket. It's yeah. so freaking funny. I didn't really watch I watched some of the Bratz movies growing up, but I was definitely I mean, Barbie movies I didn't watch many. Mm-hmm. But Bratz I was like so into. I had like Bratz games, I had the dolls and I would cut oh their gosh. hair. Well, they made, like, a demonic possession line of, like, dolls. Like, a third option. It's, like, Barbie, Bratz, and, um... Possession. Possession. (laughs) Wait, what is it, like... They could do, like, Babadook. Starts with a B. Babadook? Babadook dolls. Babadook dolls. I would buy one. I'd buy a Babadook doll. Aw, speaking of dolls, guess what I saw (laughs) yesterday? What did you see? It wasn't really a doll, but it was... Well, maybe it was. There was a little Madeline doll at the bookstore, and they also had frog and toad dolls, and they... I I almost cried. They were the most wholesome things I've ever seen in my entire life. And then they get possessed by the possession dolls. They get possessed dolls. by the Babadook. Yeah, the Babadook doll line. But I had to say that because I almost cried when I saw it because they were so, so cute. cute. But imagine little frog and toad possessed walking down the street. Oh. <laughs> friends forever. Friends forever. <laughs> frog and toad are friends forever. All right, so... <laughs> <laughs> Moving All right, on. so a team from Key West Art and Historical Society gives Robert an annual examination to make sure he stays in good condition. Can you imagine that being your job? Just keeping him nice. Like, just, no, but, like, like literally the doll is, like, super, like, big on, like, being disrespected and, like, how angry it gets and everything. Mm-hmm. So it's, like, um, basically, like, you have to, like, touch it and examine him. And you already have to ask permission to take a picture uh. of him. Could you imagine? Like, I feel like I would touch touch him and I would just get queasy. Like, I feel like direct contact Mm-mm. is not it with him. So the team recorded every detail about Robert. So Robert's hair is not human hair. Okay, thank goodness. Good, good. But it is most likely uh, mohair. He is Ooh. stuffed with a straw-like material and covered with felt. For mm-hmm. those unfamiliar with Robert, he stands about three foot tall and weighs six pounds. Has Ooh. short blonde hair, black button eyes, and dressed in a sailor suit costume complete with a hat. So he dresses like me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say, he sounds like he has got a cute little fit going yeah, on. Yeah, he sounds like he's got the same as me, because I have black button eyes. And you Stop to me. Coraline. <laughs> Hi, Coraline. Get the horse cor- the other cor- mother. <laughs> I just read the book. Actually, it was pretty good. But really? Yeah. Different. I wonder if, like, honestly, from doing this episode so far, I'm realizing a lot of stuff in horror is based off dolls. Mm-hmm. Wow. Who would have thought? It's creepy as heck. Yeah. Speaking of which, that doll over there is kind of nice. I was like, do you have dolls? I don't like dolls. They freak me out. They always mm. have. When I, I was want to get you a doll. The, only, the closest <laughs> thing Christmas? I ever had when I was little, besides like bar, like Bratz dolls, mm-hmm. I had like strawberry. What was it? Was it strawberry shortcake? No, they were like strawberry shortcake and like Raggedy Ann dolls. Oh, but Raggedy my mom Ann, used to make Raggedy Ann dolls. Really? Well, isn't that what Annabelle is? Yeah, I was just gonna Annabelle's say, actually a Raggedy, Raggedy Ann doll. doll. Ooh. My mom was obsessed with Raggedy Ann, so she always had little Raggedy Ann dolls for us when oh, we were little. That's so cute. I know. But so, we didn't get possessed. <laughs> so, as well, Robert also holds a plush lion. Who? Oh, this is cute. Aww. He holds a plush lion, and the museum staff named him Leo. Why is that so cute, and he holds though? it in his arms. That's so cute. How can he be scary if he's got a How pet lion? How can he be scary? Eee. Maybe that's, like, his good energy, the little lion. Yeah. Or, or he like comes part. to life and he's like a full lion. He's like Rawr. it's like a lion demon that follows him. <laughs> like a lion jumps on the window right oh, now. Oh, it's lion from Steven Universe, but evil. <gasps> oh, oh I would buddies. pet him. I pet him. I pet him before I'll he go, ate oops, me. Oops, sorry. <laughs> That's really cute. So apparently, Jean gave Robert the sailor suit that belonged to him when he was little, and also gave Robert his plush pet. So I guess he came as oh. like. Naked, which means that like he's I guess really Jean. giving him his person, like basically oh. all the different things he owns. Oh wow, like kind of projecting more. onto the doll. Yeah. Oh, that's like crazy. here's my clothes, here's my name, here's oh, my, my item. God, take me. Wow, it's creepy. That effect. is wild. That like that's made me so nauseous cute. thinking about. All right, so 
Later on in life, Jean went away to college as an adult to study architecture at the University of Virginia for two and a half years. I also mm. wanted to be an architect. Look at that. Nice. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> Maybe I'm Jean. <laughs> <laughs> you like rise up in the air. <laughs> so Jean. Robert didn't accompany Jean. Jean mm. went on to study painting at the Academy of Fine Arts in Chicago for three years. Oh, so he changed majors. Aww, I, I feel you. That's I feel okay you, if you like that, Jean. It's okay to change majors, yeah. especially if you have a possessive doll. I know. Find your way, sir. Yeah. So besides playing with Robert during childhood, Jean reportedly loved to paint. According Aww. to the family, Jean took up a paintbrush before he learned to speak. Mm. He spent the following two and a half years working with art students in New York. From New York, he moved to Paris, where he established himself in a studio, met his future wife, Annette Parker. Parker was originally from New England and was in Paris studying music. The Mm -hmm. two married on May 3rd, 1930 at the American Cathedral in Paris. Mm -hmm. Jean and Anne Otto eventually moved back to the United States in the mid-1930s and settled in New York City. Mm -hmm. At this time, the Great Depression was starting and times were... uh, difficult for Jean and Anne in both their families. Mm. And then Jean worked as a furniture salesman and Anne performed some shows at the Rainbow Room at Rockefeller Center as Anne Garrard. Ooh. Ooh. She's famous, so famous. The two composed and copyrighted more than 30 songs with Jean writing the lyrics to Anne's music. One song of the time, Anne the River, was recorded by singer Jimmy Brerley. During mm. the 1940s, Jean learned that his mother was sick and the couple decided to move back to Key West, Florida. Ooh. Whoa. I want to, like, listen to the whole album. <laughs> Can we talk about the fact, like, real quick, though? Like, he has, like, he's, like, super successful, but it was, like, after he left the doll. That it got, like, creepy, or? No, like, his life, like, oh, a lot of success, success was, was coming in, like, mm. after he, gra- like, after, like, when he went off to college and didn't bring him with so him. So it makes me nervous when the return yeah. happened, what's going to happen. Mm. That's so wild. Well, was he still in the attic all those years? He mu- he's been festering. Whoa. Good oh luck goodness. if you see him again, sir, because Ooh. he's not going to be... He's, like, honestly took away his best friend. Oh, wow. Maybe he's going to be really angry. All right, Mm-mm. so, according to this, it says Robert hadn't been with Gene during his travels and had been left up in the attic, there so he is. wasn't there. there that whole time. You're a festering man. Well, so he went to college for two years and then for three and then moved in, like, the 1930s. So that doll must have been up there for, like, 20-plus years Oof. at the least. Mm. Wow. He was going to be big angry. Oh, my gosh. So after Jean's mother's passing, Jean's mm. siblings signed over their shares of the estate to Jean and Anne. Jean and Anne moved into the family home, now known as the Artist's House. Oh, that's Aww, pretty cool. cool. The house currently serves as a bed and breakfast and is also a stop on a ghost tour. Stop, let's go. Let's go. Think they got any spirits there it's, still? Oh, it's also one of the most photographed homes in Key West, Florida, other than the Hemingway's former residencies. Oh. I feel like I've heard of that before. The Hemingway House? That sounds familiar. Super familiar. Google search? Yeah. Hemingway House. Hemingway House. Yeah. Oh, it's a museum. Was it like a oh, murder wow. house type thing? I'm not sure. It's not saying... That sounds super what? familiar, but I can't place... The Ernest Hemingway House. Oh, Ernest Hemingway. Is that an author? Mm. I'm not seeing That's a dumb question. It. I'm pretty sure that's an author. Oh, my gosh. I'm not seeing much about it. It's just like a very like pretty house, it's looking like. Aw. But it's a stop on a ghost tour, so what is it for? Maybe Oh, Ernest. they have a lot of cats. <gasps> what? What? Ew. It's, a, it's, it, it's like known for paranormal activity for cats. They have like a cat cemetery like in the back and stuff and then the, it's like known that the cats like live there after their passing. Whoa, that's Stop, so cool. That's cool. Why not I wanna go? Whoa. You hear like meows from all the ghosts. That reminds cats. me of Pet Cemetery. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Now wow. my first Stephen King connecting this moment. <laughs> Stephen King, you got your moment this episode. <laughs> you You're did, welcome. Mr. King. You're so <laughs> welcome. So alright, so once he settled in with his wife in the family home. Jean, <gasps> what? Ah, ah. Once he settled back in with his wife in the family home, Jean decided to resume his close friendship with Robert. Why? You're a whole adult, Much sir. to his wife's dismay. So after 20 some years, mm. he decides to reconnect with the... Oh well, my the doll's going to be God. real angry now, sir, so... And it, so according to this, it says Anne didn't like Robert and insisted Jean kept 
keep Robert in a separate room. Fair. And then Jean decided to create a separate room especially for Robert in the attic. Oh, my God. It's creepy that he was still that into it. Yeah. Like, almost like it had, like, a power over him. Yeah, or, like, it was, like, a pet or something that he was attached to. He even furnished the room with child-sized furniture and toys for Robert. That's so creepy. Jean made Robert's room his studio and painted with Robert at his side. Mm. Myrtle Reuter, who later owned the artist's house, said that a neighbor told her that Anne said that when Jean would say or do something hurtful to her... He would tell her, I didn't do it. Robert did it. Ew. I don't like that at all. Oh, my God. So is he trying to say that, like, Robert took over him? Or Yeah, I think so. Okay. I think so. Because it's saying, like, whenever she, he did something hurtful, like, to her. To her directly. Which, yeah. So it's like, can you imagine blaming your problems on a doll? On a whole doll? doll? Yeah. Oh, my God. Like, there's got to be something else there that's Honestly, darker. I believe in him full heartedly, mm-hmm. but it sounds like he was just being like a bad person. Yeah. Like he's like, Oh, but Robert did it. He was just a dog. Like, oh come on. You did that when you were four. I'm being a jerk Calm of down, a man. Gene. Calm down, Gene. Calm chill out, Gene. Get a grip. <laughs> <laughs> Grow up. That's so scary though. Yeah. So it was during the nineteen forties that stories about Robert started to circulate. Many children who passed the artist's house on their way to school reported seeing Robert moving from window to window in the attic room. Ew, that's I think I remember hearing about that. Mm. In Key West, Gene became a respected citizen and artist as an adult. He had many art openings and attended by prominent Key West residents. He also supported community organizations such as the Key West Women's Club and Garden Club. Aw. Oh, wow. So thank you for supporting women. Yeah, right? But that's so... That is so weird. Like, he, like, mm. runs around the windows and stuff. I would be so like, freaked out. If I saw something like that, I'd be like, okay, yeah. hey, let's report Especially because you're a kid, too, so, like, everything you see is, like, over, like, stimulated already. Mm-hmm. Seeing something like that would just be like, oh, no way. I just think it's so weird that he's so invested in it still. Yeah. Like, to the point that he gave it all, like, he gave Robert his own room with yeah. his own furniture yeah. to a doll. <laughs> wow. That's weird. Whoa. All right, so so for this next part, so on June 24th, 1974, Gene Otto passed away in a Miami hospital. Mm. It was determined that his death was caused by Parkinson's disease. An article in the Sun Centennial, written 10 years after his death, said that in the months leading up to his death, Gene spent most of his time in the attic talking to Robert. Oh. Oh, my gosh. That's really sad. After his death, Anne found out that she was written out of her husband's will. <gasps> well, oh who my was it written God. to? Was it written to Robert? According to a letter written by Gene's sister, <gasps> Miss Baado Debo, to a nephew, Gene was hurt when he found out that he had been written out of Anne's mother's will, so he took her out. Gene left everything to his sister, Mispa. Okay. Okay. I was okay. like, if he gives it to the stupid if he gives doll, it to a doll, oh, oh my, my god. Gosh. There's a movie where like um this like a, this like it's an animated movie. It's like this like old lady like passes away and she has like this mm-hmm. corgi that's like her best friend, oh. <laughs> and um these like villains who are like nephews or nieces to her are trying to get like the fortune, mm-hmm. and they left the money and everything and the dog like she left all the money to him oh my so like gosh. the rule is is that like the nephews get to have the money if they keep the dog but they're oh like the villains gosh. of it so they're like we don't want to keep this is it like dog. the same of like the aristocat situation yes where it was very like much the that cats, the cats but edgar the... was like i'm gonna kill the cats yeah yeah it's, it's very much like that like they were very much like take the dog to the pound. We're taking all the money. Oh my god! And then like there was like a rule in it that was like, oh, you have to prove that you love this dog for at least a week before you're allowed to. <laughs> at least a week. You can pretend for a whole week to get a whole <laughs> will. Yeah, exactly. To get like become a millionaire. But also, I will say this was pretty petty of him to write his own wife out of a will based on something her yeah. mother did. She had no part. I assume after they built a life for each other and like yeah. had like a home and like all this stuff. Like she stuck by him in that doll for how yeah. long? I guess, like, Robert did it. Whatever. Okay, all right. All right. All right. All right. So, however, Anne Anne owned the artist's house jointly with Jean, so she Mm. sold it to a neighbor and friend, William Gazer. So, I guess, like, she owned the house as well, so it's, like, she couldn't be written out of that. Yeah. Uh, So, she gave Robert to Gazer and told him that doll was Jean's best friend. 
of course, he never had any other friends. Ooh, Dang, that's, shady Anne. That's shady, but it also sounds she pretty She better true. work, though. She better work. She said since he had no other friends <laughs> except for the stupid doll. So then Anne moved to Massachusetts to live with her sister. And then she passed away five years later in January of 1979 of pancreatic cancer. And she was buried in Norwich, Connecticut. Hmm. Wow. Oh, they weren't in the same state. They no, yeah, buried. she moved up to Massachusetts to live yeah. with her sister. I guess, like, after something like that happens, you would, like, want to go, like, somewhere where, like, you felt you were around, like, other people. Yeah. She was probably tired of that house and dealing with him and yeah. whatever's going on there. I just wish they would have gotten buried together. I mm-hmm. feel like people, like a married couple or something, I would just hope that they would be yeah together, like, at think. least in the same state or the same graveyard. But for it yeah. to be so many states away, that's sad. Yeah, exactly. So... Mm-hmm. So, in this, it's talking about, like, some questions. So, is Robert a voodoo doll? Robert has mm. been analyzed and examined by a team from the Key West and Art and Historical Society. Thanks to the analysis of Robert the doll and some detective work by paranormal investigator and author David L. Sloan, much more is known about Robert's origins. Ooh. In Sloan's book, Robert the Doll, the True Biography of Key West Haunted Doll, includes mm. extensive research on Robert and his caretakers, the autos. Sloan had success access to family documents, including letters and diaries. Oh. All right. So Sloan tracked Robert's physical origins to the Stife Company in Germany. Oh, wow. Okay. So in Germany. The Stife Company is a toy company established during the late 19th century. The company was started by a seamstress named Margaret Steep. Ooh. Ooh. Margaret. Who made elephant-shaped pincushions. Oh, Okay. She noticed that children enjoyed playing with the pin cushions and decided to start making more animal-themed toys. Oh. Eventually, her hobby developed into the Stife Company, which became a reputable and innovative toy manufacturer. Steve is credited with creating the most popular children's toy of all time, the plush bear, in 1902. Jink. Wait. So the woman who invented Robert the doll... Created, like, teddy bears. Created teddy bears. What? Ew. That's wild. Well, now that kind of makes me freaked out by like stuffed animals. Yeah, like all stuffed animals are now. They could potentially possessed. like. Yeah. I'm not gonna give any of mine power. Yeah. But what the about I, your teddy bear, Fred Bear. Fred what are you gonna bear, do now? Fred Bear is like a mafia leader guy, so he's chill. He's not doing nothing to me. I'm on the right side. You're on the right side of his mafia. Yeah, I'm, you never I'm, do. I'm literally wrong. basically in his mafia, or I'm the leader of his never. mafia. So oh I'm good. Oh my gosh. That's so crazy. Ew. So, getting back to Robert, though, the trademark that designated an authentic Stife toy was a metal button inserted into a doll's ear with an elephant engraved in an R the company name. <laughs> However, the evalu- evaluation team in Sloan have noted that Robert's right ear was originally missing. Oh. Sloan assumed that Jean may have torn it off accidentally as a child during play. Sloan contacted Rebecca Kaufman, Stife's consultant and archivist for North America. He sent her detailed photos and provided descriptions in Robert's measurements, and Kaufman and a colleague agreed that Robert could be a Stife toy. The following year, Kaufman found a doll similar to Robert that is a confirmed Stife toy up for auction. Mm. Kaufman's theory on Robert is that he was originally made to be used as a window display because of his lifelike proportions. Mm. Kaufman also said that Robert would have been very expensive to buy. Wow. I just hate that he's three feet tall. That freaks me out. Wow. Mm. Wow. That's so interesting. So, like, his purpose wasn't even to, like, be a toy. Like, allegedly. His purpose was just to be something that you look at to be pretty. That's so interesting. So now it's been confirmed Robert wasn't constructed as a voodoo doll. Good to know. So theories as to why Robert could be haunted are that, again, the servant could have put a curse into the doll after Jean received it. Robert could also be haunted by the spirit of a deceased child connected to the Otto family. Mm -hmm. And the most interesting theory is that Robert could have been charged by Jean's energy through Mm -hmm. his attachment and affection for Robert. Mm -hmm. That's a strong one because we've been talking. He's like reflecting onto this doll. Yeah, hardcore. it's even scarier that it's like the amount of energy you put towards something mm. can give it power, and that's horrifying. 
I'm gonna post this picture over on our Instagram whenever we post I was just gonna say, I thing. glanced at it, I was like, that looks like a good photo yes. for the Instagram, because it's creepy Oh my heck. god, stop. That's what I was thinking too. Ooh. So, just to show you, this is um, Gene Otto in the sailor suit that he gave to Robert. Ew, that like makes me sick looking at it. That's horrible. Right? <laughs> so, that's the suit he wore because he's like a life-size doll. Mm. And that was his sister, uh, Mispa, yeah. who received the heir to everything. I wonder everything. if his siblings were ever freaked out by it. I wonder. But I wonder if she knew, like, what's going on or something. Like, mm-hmm. I wonder if Mispa, like, knew yeah. what was happening. Well, I guess also kids are just like, oh, they're just playing with the stuffed animal. Hee-hee. Wow. But, ew, that's wow. creepy as heck. So most accounts agree that Jean received Robert as a gift for his birthday. It's been established that Robert was most likely manufactured at the Steef Company in Germany around 1904. The Otto family immigrated to the United States from Germany. According to Jean's sister, Miss Bus family history, Jean's grandfather, Joseph Otto, maintained a relationship with relatives in Germany, and both German and American Ottos exchanged gifts. And there's evidence that Jean's mother may have brought Robert to the United States after returning home from a trip to Hamburg on mm-hmm. September 4th, 1904. Oh, Ooh. so they were in Germany visiting, and they got it at the toy company. Wow. Oh, okay. Wow. Ew. That's so wild. I want to know if someone, an exterior person, like, put a curse on it. I Whoa. think that kind of theory interests me. Wow. See, so, yeah, so let's get into some theories about it then. Heck, yeah. <laughs> so, the following are theories as to who haunts Robert. Ooh. One, the spirit of Thomas Otto and Emmeline Ovid's child, or that, mm. or that it is her deceased child conceived with her husband William. Mm. Another theory is that Emmeline used magic to trap her child spirit into the doll. Perhaps Jean's attachment to Robert stems from Robert being haunted by a half sibling. Oh, Ooh. that's interesting. That's really interesting. So visitors to the museum, as well as members of the staff, have said that they've seen the apparition of what appears to be a female child, mm. a mixed race, around Robert the doll. She's described as about five years old, with long brown curly hair, wearing an old-fashioned type nightgown. Poochie mm. Myers served as a caretaker for the artist's house during the 1980s, and she described seeing the spirit of the little girl sitting on a staircase. Meyer said that the little girl seemed very angry. Ooh. Whoa. That's a good theory, and it's horrifying. Yes. That's so Well, I wonder if that means she's jumping around from, like, living in that house to also Mm -hmm. going back and forth to the doll, like, living inside the doll. It's very possible. Mm. Wow. All right. So, so from now on, uh, Robert has lived at the Fort E... Fort East Martello Museum since 1994. Myrtle Reuter brought him to the museum. Reuter became the owner of the artist's house after William Gazer and was Robert's caretaker for 20 years. At first, Reuter said that she didn't have any problems. She said that she would dress Robert in PJs and put him by the tree on Christmas Eve. Aw, that's sweet. <laughs> she let him out, though. Mm. She let him out of this little she case. She let him out, but also Merry he Christmas. Said, Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh my goodness. She then took Robert to her new home where she let him sit on the porch. Oh, girl. She said it was after moving into the new house that strange things started to happen to her. Mm. Oh, my God. So, Joe Pace, who's the Key West Art and Historical Society director, um, who we talked about before, did, like, the examinations and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, what was it? She sat Robert down in a chair in his office and said... This is Robert, and he's part of the Otto family, and I can't stand him being in my house anymore. Ooh. Reuter said that she locked Robert in a room after noticing that he moved on his own. That's so creepy. After that, she said Robert locked her in a room in that she told Pays that he's haunted. Mm. When Pays suggested that she should keep Robert, uh, Reuter insisted that she wanted the doll out of the house and eagerly filed paperwork to donate him. Oh. She died less than three months later. Mm. Whoa. That's creepy. After Robert arrived at the museum, paranormal activity decreased at the artist's house and increased at the museum. Mm. Wow. That's because you're haunting it. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> so Pace noticed something different about Robert. He kept Robert in a small antique chair in his office. Pi said that when he looked at Robert, he stared back at him in unchildlike ways. Ooh. Ooh. Pies believed that Robert was moving the chair around and made a mark near one of the chair legs to see if the chair was moving. Pi shared his office with the museum director, Susan Olson. She didn't like Robert <laughs> and didn't want to be in the office if the doll was in there. Eventually, Robert was moved to the museum's artifact storage room. Robert stayed there for three years and visitors could see him by appointment. Whoa. And by appointment, it's that intense. Like, got a 2.30 book in to see Robert the Doll. Ooh. <laughs> That's um, Yes, yeah, so museum employees were so frightened of Robert that they often suggested visitors come back to visit on a day that they weren't working or put the responsibility of retrieving Robert on a co-worker. Oh. In mid-1996, a local do- ghost tour was encouraging guests to visit Robert. After a request for Robert had increased, he was placed on display to the public. Oh, man. Yes. The people had to do with them more. Yes. I love how they were like, yeah, let's just place it on the coworkers. I don't want to do it. Yeah, we'll Let of them get, they like, do. attacked by the demon. Oh, my God. So, yeah, there's some pictures of Robert, like, as well in here. His little lion is so cute, His though. His little lion. Aww. <laughs> So wow that's <laughs> so cute so um what was it so mini robert um who i believe was oh yes mini robert also comes with a polite warning on him mm. that says thank you for your order take good care of my mini me i have my eye on you robert ew so it's like a polite warning like hey like thanks for Seeing me and thanks for being polite. I have my eyes on you. That's concerning. Oh my goodness. I like um, that we're not actually there and talking about it. Like it's better that we're, we're like we're here. like in the studio, like talking mm-hmm. about it right in front of him. Like hey, like, like he's never seen up? me directly, so like I'm kind of okay. Yeah, <laughs> <Question> right. <laughs> Unless he's got the Instagram. Oh no. Yeah. Honestly, <laughs> the Instagram. Yeah. So let's get into some of the things. That Robert has done while being on display. Oh no. So, yeah. um, Jessica Noman, manager of the artist house, put a decorative bowl of plastic lemons on the reception desk. The lemons suddenly started to disappear. Guests checking out would return them. They didn't say anything, but they just put the lemons back. Okay. About a month later, a package arrived with no name, no note, and no return address. Just a lemon. Months Ooh. later, a guest asked if she had sen- seen a letter to Robert at the Fort East Martello Museum, and the letter was from a woman who found a lemon among her and her husband's belonging when they were turned home from Florida. She wrote that she and her husband had seen Robert several times, but she never experienced anything negative. During their last visit, they stayed at the artist's house in Tourette Suite, below the attic room where Robert lived for many years. They decided to take a look in the attic and popped up into the hatch door. They took pictures thinking that they might catch something paranormal on camera. The next day before checkout, they were doing some last minute shopping. She began to feel pain and started running a fever and then started noticing a rash. After arriving home, a doctor diagnosed her with shingles. Her husband started to feel pain and was diagnosed with kidney stones as well. When she was unpacking, she found a plastic lemon wrapped up in one of her shirts she didn't know how it got into her suitcase and she thought that robert was the cause of her and her husband's sickness she thought that robert was punishing them for taking pictures of the attic without his permission she Mm. mailed the lemon back to the artist's house once the lemon was on its way back she and her husband began to recover Mm. she requested that her letter be posted near robert whoa that's weird whoa (laughs) Ew. That just sounds like right out of a horror movie, like getting yeah. like little lemons like everywhere, like mm-hmm. as like a warning to what's happening. And the fact that they actually got sick, like yeah, that's so weird. Ugh. And then they felt better as soon as they sent yeah. it back. And apparently, a lot of people like send letters to Robert, like talking to him and stuff. Ew. Yeah. So this next one is from someone who said that they followed Robert's rules. Mm-hmm. The writer told Robert their name asked permission before taking his photo, and then thanked Robert. Later that night, their bottom lip swelled twice the size 
and they developed a rash on both their arms and hands that lasted for a couple of days. Ooh. They looked up Robert on the internet and didn't find any information to suggest that the rules weren't followed. As they closed the tab, they noticed another tab open with no title on it, and there was only one sentence on the page that read, you did not say where you were from. Oh. Whoa. Whoa, that's so wild. <laughs> and there is one positive letter that's been mentioned. The writer was a woman who said that she had nothing but the best of luck after visiting Robert. Mm. The specifics aren't mentioned, but the woman expresses her appreciation and thanks to Robert. The letter goes on to refer to Robert as a demon whose role is to teach people to ask for permission. Ooh. She goes on to say that Robert is specifically a demon in charge of good manners. Maybe. So, yeah, I mean, he if, if he's sick. making people better, hey. <laughs> he literally makes people sick, but he's like, well, maybe he had better mm. manners that would make you sick. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah, so Robert the Doll has been the long subject of speculation in the paranormal community. He is currently the main attraction of ghost tours in Key West, Florida. Paranormal activity is still reported at the artist's house, including the apparition of the woman who appears in the garden. There's a theory that the feminine presence is Anne Otto, and that oh. she's there to protect people from Robert. Oh. According to a report from October 25th, 2003, on Jean's birthday, oh. a gathering of 80 people witnessed a blue orb come from the sky through the guest house roof and appear to the crowd in front of the house. The orb went through the balcony and disappeared into the ground. This orb is said to have appeared again in October of 2012 as a tour guide was sharing new information that was uncovered about the Otto family. The orb reportedly circled this head for several minutes. Mm. Wow. The fact that so many people saw it and it was on its mm -hmm. birthday. It said 80 people. 80 people. That's so wild. Ooh. Oh, all right. So whether you believe it's voodoo, a child spirit, Gene Otto's energy, charging Robert, or maybe that Robert is simply an antique doll with an eccentric caretaker, <laughs> Robert the doll's story is fascinating. There have been many attempts over the years to try to communicate with the spirits surrounding Robert the Doll. Robert currently has two Facebook pages, Stop run it. by the Fort East Martello Museum, and the other is the Robert the Doll Experience, organized by David Sloan. That is so I'm cool. I'm surprised those people would have the guts to, like, make yeah. a Facebook page. Maybe they had to ask him if they yeah. could. Ooh. It's so, so interesting. So go check out their Facebook pages, yes. I guess. So, guys... If you ever decide to visit Robert the Doll, remember to be respectful, introduce yourself, tell him where you're from, and ask permission to take his photo. And thank him before you leave. <laughs> so, what do you Man. think? Well, thank you first, Robert. Uh, <laughs> I, don't I know. find it all very interesting. I didn't know it was like this in depth yeah. of like a case. Uh, I don't know. I feel like my two things is I really liked the idea or theory that it could be his... Uh, was it like half sister or yeah the half sister? But the only thing is, I don't know how malicious the half sister would be towards like other people. Yeah, like to like making people sick that mm -hmm. she sees or that kind of stuff. Right. But I do like the idea that it could be that, and then I also like the idea that like the energy that Robert put towards the doll, mm -hmm. like Jean, I guess Jean put towards the doll. Yeah, was what welcomed a spirit inside of it. Or, like, wow. welcome something else yeah, more sinister. I think that is, like, probably the best case in this. I really think it's possible that um, he projected onto this doll so much it transferred a lot of his, like, energy to mm -hmm. it. I think that's, like, the best case here. Yeah. I think that's the best theory out of all of these. It's just so interesting. Yeah. Like, he must have, there must have been something genuinely inside of Robert for mm -hmm. Gene to, like, continue a relationship 20 with the years. Doll. 20 years yeah. after he first had the doll. Because, like, I know there's, like, people who collect dolls and, like, do mm -hmm. that kind of stuff, but this was something further than, like, yeah. a collector being interested. It was, exactly. like, a genuine relationship with an in inanimate object yeah. that seemingly had something else attached to it that was otherworldly so yeah. i'm thinking it was something else convincing him to stay yeah with it the exactly. entire time but that's weird like Ooh. a companion oh my goodness which is so uncomfortable 
Oh my but, goodness. Yeah, that's my. Yeah, that's how I feel too. It's like very like much the projection thing. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. So be careful what energy you project onto things yes. into the world. Yes. All good vibes all, everywhere. All good things will come back to you if you if you put them out to the world. So let's put some that's goodness. That's a life lesson. Put some goodness in there yes. through and through. But I guess we can believe that Robert the doll will remain a, a mystery. mystery. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Yes, thank you. And we will see you again for Tiffany's case. Yes, we'll see you real and soon. And we wanted to give a special thank you to Robert. To Robert. Thank you, Robert. Thank you so much for telling us your interesting story mm-hmm. and letting us yeah. in. Letting us in, letting us tell your story. Yes. We hope we did you justice. And yes. We mean all, nothing but love and respect to you. Thank Absolutely. you, and we will say <laughs> goodbye. We will close this energy, let you yes. live your afterlife, I suppose. All right. Yeah. Thank you, guys. And thank you. Thank you, Robert. Thank you, and goodbye.